that was good. Back together if he didn't already know. Weekends on BBC Radio One. I'm going to play a little bit of, of a, a classic tune that Liam has chosen. Arctic Monkeys right now. Uh, I bet you look good on the dance floor. Then we've got some screamers, some proper screamers. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm going to have to turn these headphones down a little bit, though, just in case. Just in case. Um, we've, you know, there are, I know that you've heard lots of screaming, and it doesn't really matter where you are. We're hoping that people are in the library, maybe in church, uh, maybe in the shower, wake up Somewhere their really inappropriate. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Eight double one double nine. are you a big screamer? How much do you love Liam? Prove it. We want the loudest screamers, you know, amongst all of the day, different one directioners uh, will be listening into the radio. Very excited. We want the loudest. Arctic Monkeys, I bet you look good on the dance floor as chosen by Liam Payne this morning. That was my choice. I've just had the funniest text from my dad. He yeah. put, did you shout me out? Question mark, dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Someone turned a drill on at work and I missed it. Oh, that's Aww. terrible. Well, there's another one, Dad, and I hope that man turned the drill off. He must be special because people don't usually get the second chance. Uh, I re- that's one of my bugbears when you like yeah. give a really heartfelt shout out to and someone and then they miss it and they're like oh, uh, my girlfriend missed it can you please tell her that I good. doubly love her <laughs> <laughs> Weekends on BBC Radio 1 so why did you choose Arctic Monkeys? Um, that was actually one of the songs when we were at college and we used to do the recording studio bit that we recorded that song so we were rocking out a little bit there nice nice and have you ever met Alex Turner? I haven't actually I've never seen them live have you not? No, I haven't. I need to. So good. So we have got someone ready for a scream. Here we go. Let me get my headphones. All Let right. me get my headphones. Okay, be prepared. If you weren't awake before, this will definitely awake you. Hello, Lily. Hello. How are you? Hi, Lily. Hi, Liam. Oh! Hey, how's it going, babe? You all right? Her voice completely yeah. changed. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you, Lily? I'm in my kitchen. Okay. You're in your kitchen. Anyone else in the house? My mum. <laughs> Right. And my brother and my sister. It's good work. It's Anyone good work. in bed? My brother. Okay, right, here I goes. think brother's a good shout. So we're going to get you to scream One Direction louder than you have ever screamed it in your life. You're setting the tone, all right, Lily? Liam is right here. I want to see his eyeballs pop out of his head. <laughs> so when I say one, in fact, when we both say one, you scream. We're going to count down from three. Let's go. What? Three, three scream. two, okay. one. I wanted one direction, but that was good enough for me. Has anyone woken up? Can you hear a stir? Can you hear a thunder in your heart? <laughs> Do you know what? I don't think the phone could actually take that. It seemed to cut out halfway through. I think the phone was more wimpy than anything else. Should we though. have one more for fun? Yep. Let's go for it again. In fact, we've got to go to news. It's now time for Radio 1 Newsbeat. <gasps> with Greg Dawson. Listen, watch, share. This is BBC Radio 1. Abu Hamza's deported from the... Pain and Gemma Kearney. <laughs> was Blow Me One Last Kiss by Pink, and before that we had Say Nothing Example, Big, Big Tune. Yeah, yeah, and who are you? I'm Liam Payne, and we are live on Radio 1. This is Gemma Kearney as well. Oh, gosh. BBC Radio 1's Teen Awards 2012. I am trying to keep my cool. I hope I'm doing it. I'm Me trying too. to be I'm a professional. My best. <laughs> I am trying my best. Tomorrow is all about the Radio 1 Teen Awards. It's going to be absolutely epic. Now, I know you've experienced one before. We have. And uh, how would you describe the atmosphere? Um, it was really, really good fun, actually. It was actually like our first proper real-life gig, as it were, before we, after we came out the show. So, you know, fun memories of the Teen Awards, but the experience is great, the crowd are fantastic, and, you know, it's such a great cause as well, it's really good. Yeah, it's really good. It's really nice to recognise some real heroes as well exactly. as all the celebs and the hotties and all the fit people, you know what I mean? In terms <laughs> of like, oh, they're on my telly screen, but it's also nice to take a, a step back and of have course. a moment and just go, you 
are just an amazing hero. Uh, so tomorrow you can listen to it, you can watch it, it is everywhere. It will be live online. Uh, you can listen to that on bbc.co.uk slash radio one or press the red button as the whole show happens. I'll be backstage sticking my microphone in people's faces, including you yours. There including yours uh, live performances from the likes of Taylor Swift Neo Ooh. Fun etc uh, so that's the Radio 1 Teen Awards tomorrow and uh, BBC Free there'll be a big programme on in the evening as well just go online all the details are up there if you're literally shaking right now of excitement I know someone that certainly is hello Hattie hello how are you I'm fine how are you I'm not bad do you want to speak to Liam yes please how's it going Hattie are you alright <laughs> I'm fine, how are you? I'm really good. You've actually got the same name as one of my best friends, which is convenient. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a little bit of a challenge for you. What we want you to do, you know, we've been a bit schemy and a bit naughty here. We want you to go upstairs, and I know that your brother's in bed, and yeah. scream and see what happens. <laughs> and you're with, you're with your sister, is that right? Yeah. What's her name? Millie. Millie. So, you two, are you naughty sisters Hi, usually? Millie. Oh. oh, bless her. Are you she likes, she likes it because she's got the same birthday as Louis. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. That is good. That's good news. Perhaps there could be a joint party one day. Maybe there could be. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, so, girls, are you usually naughty or are we really leading you astray? Uh, we're, we're, quite, we're quite horrible to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're outside his bedroom right now? Yeah. How old is he? He's um, 12. Okay. And you're about to wake him up? <laughs> On a Saturday. Okay. Here goes, it's happening live on Radio Home right now. Uh, we are very excited to be co-presenting with Ling and Payne this morning. And uh, Hattie and Millie are about to wake up their boyfriend. Boyfriend? I don't know where that came from. Well, Brother. This is a whole Weird different story now. Slip. Uh, right, ready. Are you ready? When we say one, you've got to just burst through the door. Okay. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one, one go! <laughs> oh, no way! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless. Well done. Good well work. Well done, girls. Good work. Liam is so impressed. Likes me anymore. Oh, oh. I don't think he likes me either anymore, actually, or if he didn't like me before. But there oh, we go. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> that was amazing. I'm so impressed with you. That is excellent. Have a great day, girls. See ya. Sorry, brother. Sorry to your bro. Sorry, bro. That's going to just be in the family forever, you know. It is. I remember that time when you were live on the radio. <laughs> uh, uh, we've got Izzy here as well. Hi, Izzy. Hi. How are you? Side. I'm really trying to stay professional, but this is quite difficult. Imagine how lucky I am spending two whole hours of Liam Payne. Ah, hi Izzy, how's it going? You all right? Hi. Ah, I love how the voice gets higher every time you <laughs> it say It does, doesn't it? It does. So, have you been enjoying Liam's tunes? Yeah. And Having you... a little dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which has been your favourite so far? Did you enjoy the Arctic Monkeys? Maybe it was a bit of Jay Z. Uh, just Liam. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you very much. Uh, so, Izzy, are you waking anyone up? Uh, big sister. Big sister. Big oh, sister. I'm a bit scared of this one. I'm quite scared. I don't know. I'm feeling a bit of tension with this one. Really? How old? How old's your big sister? She's um nineteen. Nineteen. She's my age. Have you got siblings, Liam? I've got two older sisters. Yeah. And how would they feel if you woke them up in this style? Um. I'm not sure. I think they'd be a bit surprised. What my one sister does actually sleepwalk a little bit, so she's really? quite crazy. Yeah, <gasps> bless her. Oh my goodness! And would you get? Would you get really in trouble if I you... would? I'd have to run. I'd just have to keep running, not ah, look back. Ah. That's my advice for you. And right I now. am a big sister, Izzy, and I can tell you, I'm not so sure how I'd feel if uh, I was having a nice line on a Saturday, quarter to nine, and there's you causing mischief. But we're going to do it all the same. We're going to go for it. So this is a little, you know, this is this is to prove how excited you are about the Teen Awards. Uh, it's a very special moment for us. When we say one, we just want you to scream for Liam. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Wow, that was a very big one. Good work. <laughs> is he? Is anyone awake? Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Well, I think just she, run. I think just, she might be getting run. in a little bit of trouble. I'm going to straight to the front door. Run. LMFAO. Oh gosh. Another one of your choices, Liam. Here we go. Let's get dancing. Why this one? Um, just because it's a big, big party tune. I think. Yeah, I didn't. And even these guys are just amazing. When I heard they split up, I was so sad. But then the oh. next day, they got back together. Did they? So all was right in the world again. Wicked. Yeah.